Hey there hikers, Adam here. And these are the 10 best scenic walking trails in Boston, Massachusetts. We're starting off at number 10 with the Zakem Bridge Parks. Located near the West End and Charlestown neighborhoods of Boston, the walk through North Point and Paul Revere Parks follows a 1.5 mile long loop trail with the difficulty designation of a walk in the woods, which is the exact same difficulty of every trail on this list. So this was my very first time visiting these trails and I quite liked the interesting view that it gave you. The trail I'm recommending runs through a combination of two different parks along the Charles River. This will be the North Point Park and the Paul Revere Park. And then these two parks are then connected to each other by a pedestrian bridge that takes you right underneath I-93 and the Zakem Bridge. And honestly, this was the highlight of these two parks. I've never been so up close and personal with that Zakem Bridge. It was kind of cool walking underneath it and just feeling so small. I've only ever driven across it and this view alone makes it well worth its spot here at number 10. At number 9 we have the Public Garden in Boston Common. Located in the Beacon Hill and Back Bay neighborhoods of Boston, the walk through the Boston Common and Public Garden follows a 3.7 mile long loop trail. Now here's a very popular stroll that I'm sure many of you have already done and it's been popular for a reason all the way back since the Boston Common was created as the first city park in the United States all the way back in 16 34. It has been a great green area here in the heart of Boston. That's what makes it so special. You see all the different buildings rising around you as you make your way around the park to the various landmarks, including the Frog Pond. And when you cross over into the public garden, you see the lagoon where they have the swan boats, and then make sure you make it up to the corner of the park where they have the make way for duckling statue. And then, of course, the lovely stroll down the Commonwealth Avenue Mall with the various different statues along the way, easily bringing this trail to its spot here at number nine. At number eight is the Arnold Arboretum. Located in the Jamaica Plain neighborhood of Boston, the walk through the Arnold Arboretum follows a 3.7 mile loop trail. Now the Arboretum is both a park and a botanical research institution for Harvard University. Filled with many hills to climb and trails to explore, it is one of the best green spaces to just get lost and explore in all of Boston. So many landmarks that I love to go visit. These would include the Bonsai Tree Garden as well as the viewpoint on top of Peter. Hill. My personal favorite part about the Arboretum is the wide variety of trees and flowers that you can see as you stroll along the different trails and the wide variety of trails that they have. And of course, don't forget to come check this out in the spring when you can come see all the flowers the Arboretum has to offer, easily claiming its spot here at number eight. At number seven is the Seaport Harbor Walk. Located in the Seaport neighborhood of Boston, the Seaport Harbor Walk follows a 1.7 mile linear trail. Ah, the first of several Boston Harbor Walk sections on our list. This one is located here in the Seaport with amazing views of the Boston Financial District. The trail here will take you by both the Institute of Contemporary Art and the United States Courthouse with my personal favorite views of Boston being from right in front of the courthouse. One detractor for this part of the trail though is because Seaport is such a bustling area of the city. There's a lot of construction going on there right now, so a lot of the sections of the Harbor Walk in Seaport are affected by that construction and may not fully be passable, so that's partially why it is limited to its spot here at number seven. At number six is Castle Island. Located in the South Boston neighborhood of Boston, the walk around Castle Island follows a 2.2 mile loop trail. Yes, we finally made it to one of my absolute favorites and one that I come and do my afternoon strolls at all the freaking time. I absolutely love walking along that causeway out into the bay, seeing water on both sides. And if it's a windy day, you might even be able to catch yourself a nice windsurfer. And another highlight of the trail is of course, Fort Independence. Now there's been a fort here at Casa Island since all the way back in the 1600s, but the current fort that you see today is more of a Civil War style fort that was completed in the 1800s. And before you leave, don't forget to stop by Sullivan's and get yourself a nice hot dog or ice cream cone to cool you off. At number five is the Boston Harbor Walk. 
Located in the downtown and north end neighborhoods of Boston, the walk along the Boston Harbor Walk is a 3.7 mile linear trail. Now this is the longest section of the Harbor Walk that's going to appear on this list and it's going to go by so many different Boston landmarks. You're going to be strolling by the Boston Tea Party Museum, a floating music stage, sculptures, the New England Aquarium, sea lions and seals up close, a bunch of different boats right along the water, great views of East Boston, sections of the North End, even a view of the USS Constitution or Old Ironsides when you get near the end of the trail. So much variety, so many cool, great things to see as you get to see the water the whole time. One of my absolute favorites in Boston, and it's very easy to see why this one gets to its spot here at number five. At number four is Spectacle Island. Located in the Harbor Island neighborhood of Boston, the walk around Spectacle Island is a four mile long loop trail. Now this is the only trail on the list that's gonna cost you a little bit of money because you do need to buy a ferry ticket that is gonna be the ferry that'll bring you to Spectacle Island because it is one of the Boston Harbor Islands, my favorite of them all. And then once you're on the island, there's a bunch of trails that you can explore to your heart's content. Lots of different spirals, different hilltops and viewpoints of both of the city and other harbor islands throughout the bay while visiting Spectacle Island. Don't forget what the ferry schedule is so that when you're done hiking you're able to get back to the dock in time to catch the ferry back to downtown Boston. On the island there is a visitor center and there are also several different shelters scattered throughout the island, benches and such and picnic tables, but it is purely on the quality of the views alone from the different hilltops that bring Spectacle Island all the way to its spot here at number four. At number three is the East Boston Boston Harbor Walk. Located in the East Boston neighborhood of Boston, the walk along the East Boston Harbor Walk follows a 2.5 mile loop trail. Now this park and trail was a complete new one to me and I'm ashamed that I had never come here sooner. The view was just out of this world and blew me away. So the Harbor Walk along the section will take you through both Pierce Park and La Presti Park as well as different other sections of path connecting the two along the way. And the views of the entirety of Boston's financial district are just constant and also don't forget get because of where this trail is located and the angle that it faces the city, it also does make a great spot to come for sunset. The sun will be setting either right next to or behind the city. That would make the view even better than the standard amazing view you would get at any other time of day, which very clearly cements this trail at its spot here at number three. At number two is Deer Island. Located in the Harbor Island neighborhood of Boston, the walk around Deer Island follows a three mile long loop trail. Oh my gosh, I was so surprised by this trail. It ended up being my very favorite of the new trails that I had never done before while making this list. Who would have thought that a wastewater treatment plant would make for such a nice, enjoyable stroll? What makes this trail just so great is that you get amazing views of both Winthrop, the surrounding ocean, the different Harbor Islands, planes coming and landing landing at Boston Logan Airport, a nice view of all of downtown Boston across the harbor, as well as if you're an engineer nerd like me, the giant freaking eggs that are part of the wastewater treatment plant that make you feel just so small and tiny. They're just so dang big. Holy cow. And for those who know the plant does not smell, come check these eggs out for yourself and see why they cement this trail at its spot here at number two. Now before we make it all the way to number one, let's check out some honorable mentions. Two other famous and interesting urban walks would be the Boston Freedom Trail and the Black Heritage Trail. And many of you are probably wondering why didn't these two trails make the list proper? And to be honest with you, I found them not the most relaxing. It's a lot of sidewalk walking through both both Beacon Hill and downtown Boston. And the main reason that people hike these two trails is to visit the various historic landmarks along the trail versus a nice cohesive relaxing walk in and of itself. Another great walk that is just across the river in Cambridge and I can include would be a nice stroll along the sidewalks of Memorial Drive. Such great views of downtown Boston from that side of the Charles. And lastly, another amazing Cambridge walk would be through the Mount Auburn Cemetery. This is a very well-maintained and 
landscape cemetery that was just so interesting to explore. It was one of the most interesting cemeteries I've been through, and it also had the bonus of having a cool lookout tower to get a great view of the city. But because it's technically located in Cambridge, I can't include it on my proper list. And that means the best walking trail in Boston, Massachusetts is the Charles River Esplanade. Located in the Beacon Hill and Back Bay neighborhoods of Boston, the walk around the Charles River Esplanade follows a 3.5 mile long loop trail. I know what you're saying. He went with the most obvious, boring answer for number one, but you're wrong. It is actually as good as everyone remembers. It's even better. I totally forgot how good of a view of the Prudential Center that you get from the Esplanade. But it's just such an overall enjoyable trail along the Charles River. Such great views of Cambridge, those Prudential views that I totally forgot about, being able to see all the cool sailboats darting around the Charles River. And hey, it's even the only trail on this list that has its very own beer garden. If that doesn't earn its spot here at number one, then I don't know what else will. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got nothing else for you. Now go get hiking. Thank you.